Now, everybody, today I'm going to talk about why high performers um, and those that seem successful tend to blow up or implode their lives at a certain point. And it's quite common as well, too. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe. More information, more wisdom like this uh, on my channel. So let's get into it. So why would someone who seems successful, who has it all, just decide to blow it all up, implode, and all that stuff? And I'm going to give you the reasons why. Okay, so... We have a person here and they are, what we see is really happy. They have, they have the job, they have the relationship, they have the, the money, they have the material possessions. They have all the stuff that we would say makes them successful, makes them free and all that kind of stuff, right? So from the outside, we look really happy. We look successful. But what we don't understand is, Quite often, these things here are actually a result of our insecurities, that we have to have the, the soulless corporate job because somewhere it gives us an identity, gives us some kind of position or power, or it pays us really well because somewhere in our past, as I've talked about this before, is we have these insecurities over here, right? So we grow up and our environment or people tell us that, you know, we're not good enough, we're not worth anything, we'll never amount anything. Maybe you've grown up in a family that doesn't have any money, so you're trying to avoid that. Um, we're unlovable, we're not seen, we're not heard. A lot of different things as to what we actually create as, as we grow up, right? So this here creates what we call compensating techniques or behavior patterns, right? And this is where we'll get these things where if we have these, you know, events in our lives, then if we get that, then somehow it'll compensate for our, you know, sense of insecurity or lack or whatever it is in that world. However, this is exhaustive. And if you follow me, you know that there is, we have our innate being. So we are, we are not our identity. And this is what is, this is what we call our identity, okay? This is not real. This is what we do. This is what happens to us. But this is not what we do. What's not real. But people think this is who we are. But who we really are is this infinite, abundant, loving, um, free, peaceful, kind of joyous, you know, soul being, right? That's our innate, you know, who we are. That's part of, you know, City Banter's for Crucible stuff. It's our innate nature. So what tries to happen as we get older is, we get stuck in this identity and we get so exhausted, we get so tired of trying to outperform our own insecurities. We get so exhausted with the soulless job. We get so exhausted with trying to keep up with the Joneses. We get so exhausted of having this perfect relationship when it really isn't. We get so exhausted with trying to maintain this identity. And what happens is this innate part of us, right, which is, you know, the, the loving part, the free part, our natural part of our being, our soul, will try to express itself because it doesn't want to be that. It doesn't want to be this, right? We're at the stage where we're 40, 45, we go, we're exhausted, we're tired, we're living a life that's completely misaligned and we are, we are wanting to be this. So there's two ways people kind of go. Though. People kind of go, well, I need more money, I need a big job, I need a different relationship, I need to up this identity, right? Which is a whole other different kettle of fish, which... A lot of people do, and it's disastrous. Or we have this innate part of us that tries to express itself, and this comes crashing down. It implodes. And for some people, it can be completely disastrous because the ego and the identity tries to hold on because that's all it knows. But the real people who do break through from this, the ones who uh, understand this as an innate part, will stay to see this as a revolution. Because this this is not real. This this whole identity of who you think you are is a complete lie. And we're living in this place where the ego and identity tries to hold on to this version of us because it thinks that, you know, it's trying to avoid all these insecurities. But what really happens is our innate part of us tries to break through to show us what we what truly freedom and peace is. But quite often in that place, this has to this has to destroy itself. This has to come crashing down. And that's a really important thing because a lot of people try and avoid it. And this is where I can help people through that is you get to the point of going, no, this is happening because it's going to, it's going to, you know, reveal your true self. This stuff you were doing 
you're never doing it for the right reasons. You're doing it to avoid stuff. You're doing it to avoid pain. You're doing it to try and be a people pleaser or be loved or whatever the, the reason is. And your innate soul is trying to get you to realize, you, I'm stop doing it. Stop exhausting yourself. Stop being stressed. Stop trying to chase this external validation to try and fulfill something inside you that cannot be fulfilled. So in this place here where I guide people through, which you kind of help people just release this version of themselves and in a play where this becomes who they truly are. And then all of a sudden you don't have this big crash. You don't have this big breakdown of stuff because, you know, this is why people try and hold on is because the ego doesn't like to be, it likes to be right about itself. The ego loves to be right about its insecurities. It loves this part, right? So it, and it thinks this is, this is who it is. So, but when the true nature of you reveals itself, the true power, the true peace, the true freedom, then there's no need for that. And that's the scary part for a lot of people is that they don't know this part of themselves. And then, so we can help people reveal this version of themselves. And this, you know, it is a revolution, it is a breakthrough. It's a bit of a breakdown, but you can guide people through it because on the other side of this breakdown is the breakthrough. And it's a whole other different life. It's a whole other reality. It's a reality that's, you know, you don't live from your limitations anymore. You don't have the soulless destroying corporate job that you never liked in the first place, right? You don't have the relationship that never works. You know, so some people, they're, they're in this relationship that's very much take, take. It's a very transactional thing, right? So you end up being in a relationship with, you know, your people meet you on the right level. You know, you're not chasing material wealth anymore to try and validate your insecurity or trying to chase material wealth you know, to, to be in that place where you feel like you're somewhat secure, right? So so in this place, this is why, it, you know, people implode like the midlife crisis kind of thing. People, it's your soul trying to reveal itself because what's work, what's what you're doing in your life is not working for you anymore. It never did work. And this part of you, especially in your midlife kind of stuff, is it starts to just, it rages inside you and goes, come on, I'll get out. And when it does come out in the very, um, in a way that's not really beneficial, you know, it can be chaotic. It can be, you know, completely destructive. Um, or like I said before, you try and go, let's 10x stuff. Let's get more money, more, better job, better relationship. And you just, you know, delaying the inevitable, right? Because this part of you will always try and reveal itself. So it needs to have this stuff come crashing down because that's the false identity. That's an illusion. It doesn't actually even exist. So, so when we guide people through this, it's like, okay, let's reveal who this is, what the thought patterns are, why you're doing that. And then what is it you really want to reveal? What is it? Who do you want to be? And that's where the journey really starts. And that's the place where you can guide someone through this. And that's why it's so important to have someone who mentors people through this, because without that, this is an abyss. This is complete breakdown. That That, that is a, a horrible place to be in. And so if you have someone guide you through that release and that revelation, it's so much better. But just understand, this is the reason why certain people, a lot of people, midlife kind of areas, especially when they have life is not what they want it to be, they have this complete implosion and they don't know why. They think it's like we're having a midlife crisis. It's because your true self is going, I've had enough of this shit. I've had so much of your bullshit about trying to do this and your insecurities. I've had enough and it tries to break through. And that's why, you know, delving into the spiritual aspect of high performance, the intuition side of high performance is vital for anyone to break free from the limitations they're currently in. So, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and there's more information like this on my channel. Catch you later.